So as everyone knows, I just got back from Disney and Universal uh, about a week ago. Um, it was a pretty short trip, honestly. I was gone for one week, and I was obviously at Disney World and Universal, the ones in Florida. I escaped the hurricane. The hurricane was not even an issue while I was there. It did rain like one day during the like six days I think I was there. It really wasn't that bad at all. So I was there from the third to the eighth. That's six days, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's six days. And honestly, I needed to be there longer because one week did just, it just didn't feel like enough. You know, like Disney is a really big place. There's four different parks at Disney. You have Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, um, Epcot and Hollywood Studios. So you have four different parks that you have to get on a bus and, and you have to get on the bus and you have to go all the way over to those parks. They're not like walking distance from each other. And then you have Universal, which is pretty much one massive park. There's two different parks, but they're like literally right next to each other. Like you can, you can ride the Harry Potter train from one park to the other, or you can just walk a couple like hundred feet to the other park. Like it, it's, they're basically, it's basically one park, right? Because they're so close to each other. But Disney just has so much. So we were there for six days total at Disney and Universal. Probably should have been two weeks, but you never know until you do it. And then you know what to plan for later. So when I go back, and I am going to go back because Universal is opening their third park uh, called Epic Universe. Universal is also really bad with their names, if you ask me. Like they have one park that's just called Universal Studios, I think. And then the other park is called Islands of Adventure. That's a pretty lame name, if I'm going to be honest. And then for the third park they're doing, they're calling it Epic Universe. That is El Aura, honestly. Like, Disney makes the names way cooler. Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom. They all sound infinitely cooler. But don't get it mistaken. More than the names is what makes these two parks different. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about the difference between Disney and Universal. Because there is quite a big difference. Like... Most likely, if you like, if you love Universal, you're not going to like Disney as much. If you love Disney, you're probably not going to like Universal as much. Like, they are very different. So, for me personally, I like Universal more. I think Universal is a lot better for someone like me than Disney is. And the reason being, like, Disney is a super cute place for kids, right? They have a lot of cute shops if you're someone who's into shopping, right? But if you like rides, and that's, like, the main thing that I like about Disney and Universal. Like, my favorite rides at Disney are the crazy rides, right? Like, Rock and Roller Coaster, Tower of Terror, uh, Yeti at, at Animal Kingdom. But those are really the only three big rides at Disney, right? Like, that's not much. All the other rides are kid rides. And hey, a kid ride is fun, you know? I like the kid rides. Some of the kid rides are pretty fun, and the little shows, like the Bugs Life show, some of the shows are pretty cool. But, I mean, if you're if you're someone who doesn't care too much for shopping, I mean, I did get a souvenir at Disney. I got this little cup. This was my Disney souvenir, this little cup. And, you know, uh, I got a Funko Pop too. This uh, Donald Duck that's right there, you can't even see it. But yeah, I got that at Disney. This is the coolest cup ever. I showed this in a different video, but I'm going to show it again because it's awesome. I have yet to drink from this. I drank from it at Disney because uh, the place I got it from, it was like a drink place. I was like, I'll take water in this cup. So uh, yeah, this is my, my cup now. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I, I thought it was pretty cool. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the souvenir I got from Disney. And then I'll show you the souvenir I got from Universal. A coaster. Because uh, that's, another, that's the other thing I like about Universal. Is that because it's adult. Um, more so than Disney is right. They actually. Because I went during Halloween time. Because Disney had their Halloween stuff. And Disney's Halloween stuff is just uh, people sitting out with candy. And you can just get candy from people. And then they also have a parade right. Like that's Disney's whole Halloween thing. It's really not much. Universal is way more over the top than that if you ask me universal they have haunted houses which i've never been in a haunted house before until i went on that trip so fun i really enjoyed it it was great you know um so the haunted houses that i went in there were 10 or no there weren't 10 there were six or or seven something like that haunted houses that you could go in the wait time for all of these were about 50 minutes like each so you have to sit in line for 50 minutes to wait uh, I am going to talk about the prices, and I may as well just get all this out of the way, like, in one big swoop, right? Like, like they're trying to scare you in Universal, right? Um, I, I went through the Quiet Place Haunted House, 
which wasn't really that scary. What infinitely more scary than anything Disney does because Disney is geared towards kids, right? But the Quiet Place Haunted House, it was just animatronics for the most part. There was nobody in like a, like a, what's it called? A Death Angel. They're not in like the Death Angel costume. It's just like the animatronics popping out. And then there are some actual people on the side that are going like this, like, shh, and like trying to get in your face to scare you. Um, that one was not scary really at all for me. Like I, I was never like, oh damn, man, I don't know what's going to happen. Like it wasn't really that big a deal. The Ghostbusters one, and I can play some of that footage here. Uh, it doesn't look scary at all. The Ghostbusters does not look scary at all in this video, but my God, you, it's like one of those things you have to be there because in person, it's actually pretty scary. They have these big, tall, like, uh, like devil looking things. They're, they're glowing with blue all over the place and, uh, and they're pretty scary. It's just people on these stilts and they're like so tall they're like 12 feet tall it, it's it's honestly like it was a really scary haunted house but those unfortunately are the only two haunted houses that i did at universal it was just quiet place and ghostbusters because haunted uh halloween horror nights is that's what they call the the universal thing horror night starts at 8 p.m it was like 11 p.m and we only went through those two haunted houses i also got a slimer corn dog which if you follow me on snapchat you saw it it was basically a Korean corn dog, which those are fire. If you've never had a Korean corn dog, you are missing out so much. Uh, so basically, the the Korean corn dog, you know, it's it had like a Cheeto dust on the outside and lays. It sounds like a disgusting abomination to man, but it was actually so good. And then on the inside of the corn dog, you know, there was the hot dog, but it would be like hot dog, melted cheese, hot dog, melted cheese, hot dog, melted cheese. And the melted cheese was all green because it's called a Slimer corn dog from uh, from Ghostbusters, and Slimer is like this uh, this green ghost. So they made the cheese green. It was really good, surprisingly. It's again one of those things that sound disgusting. You just have to try it. it I really like that. But I do quickly want to go over the prices between Disney and Universal and what they offer you because yeah, it stuff gets expensive very quickly. So. We'll go to Universal first. So at Universal, if you want to be at the park, I don't know how much it is, but you have to buy a ticket, right? I, I can't remember the price for everything, right? So you have to buy a ticket to actually get in the park, right? And then if you want a fast pass, which I think... <gasps> he's very excited about the fast pass. I, I think if you go to Universal, you should get a fast pass because it basically lets you skip to nearly the front of the line. And it like, that's amazing, right? Like instead of waiting an hour for a ride, you have to wait like five minutes with the fast pass. There were some rides where the wait time was 30 minutes and like the Hulk was a ride, for example. The Hulk is a crazy roller coaster. I'll play a little bit of that now. But the Hulk wait time was like 35 minutes. And my dad and I used our fast pass to get on the ride. My dad and I are big like coaster people. We'll get on any coaster. My fiance and my mom, they're not really, you know, coaster people. So they're not going to get on a crazy coaster like that. They, they just sit on the side and they wait for us to be done. But we used the fast pass and we got to the front of the line. Like there was nobody else in the fast pass line. So we got to the very front and we got on the ride. So we literally didn't wait at all. Whereas the people on the other side waited 35 minutes. So I do think you should get the fast pass if you're going to go to Universal because it's just amazing for uh, like uh, for Disney's fast pass. And I don't know what they call it. It's like Fast Express or something for, for Disney, but it's the same concept, right? They have a line for regular and they have a line for fast pass. And the Disney fast pass is horrible. So Universal, you just show them your thing. Hey, I've got the fast pass. They let you in. Disney, you have to pick a specific time you want to ride a ride. And you can only do three a day. So, and, and so it, it's just stupid because you have to plan your whole day around. Oh, okay. I have this ride at this time, this ride at this time, this ride. It's, it's horrible. It's really dumb. It's bad. Uh, it just sucks. The Universal Fast Pass, you're getting way more for your buck. You can ride any ride as many times you want. You're not set by time constraints because you can get on it whenever you want. You don't have to pick which ride. It's just infinitely better. But the other thing about Universal is that if you're doing the Halloween Horror Night, you have to buy a separate ticket for Halloween Horror Night. So let's say you're going to Universal like we did. You have to buy a ticket for Universal, then you have to buy the Fast Pass. I think you should. And you have to buy Halloween Horror Night tickets. But then they have the lines for the haunted houses. 
you then have to buy a Halloween Horror Night Fast Pass. Do you understand how ridiculous this is? Um, for, for like, uh, just so you know, for like one day in Halloween Horror Nights, it's like, it's like a uh, hundred twenty bucks or something like that, and then for the the fast pass at Halloween Horror Nights, it's like hundred fifty per person. So it's like three hundred dollars basically per person at Halloween Horror Nights, and it starts at eight p.m. and it goes until two a.m. I think honestly that's what you should be doing if you go to Universal because we only went we we paid for the Halloween Horror Night. We were only there for two haunted houses and. Uh, and we didn't even get to run, walk around the park to see what all they had going on because there were some people like out in the road at Universal trying to like run up on you and scare you and stuff like that. So yeah, we really didn't get to experience much of that. I do wish we got the fast pass, but it is what it is. We'll we'll get it next time. Uh, it's it's super expensive though. Like it's it's pretty ridiculous, but. If you can afford it, it is 100% worth it. Disney is the same thing, by the way. You have to buy a uh, a day park ticket at Disney. Then you have to buy the Fast Pass if you're going to use that garbage. I mean, you may as well not even buy a Fast Pass at Disney because they suck. But if you really want to, I suppose you can. And uh, and then you have to buy the Halloween tickets. Halloween thing is okay. It's, it's nothing crazy. Uh, if you don't get the Halloween, you're really not going to miss much. It's just a silly parade and... And like trick-or-treating if you have a kid it'd be cool but I don't think most people watching this video have kids so another thing I want to talk about a big difference between Disney and Universal is the food okay the food is a big difference because at Universal there's really not that much good food it's just like average food like burgers and hot dogs and stuff right at, and they don't have that many restaurants it's just like uh like oh we'll go to this like little picnic like corner stand and get something Whereas Disney, they've got this restaurant and this restaurant and this restaurant and this restaurant and this restaurant. Disney also has an entirely different thing. This isn't actually a park. Anybody can go here. But it's a place called Disney Springs. And they just have a bunch of shops set up. Universal has that same thing, but they're not really many shops. They're just a bunch of like food places. So if you want to go outside of the Universal Park to eat at a restaurant, you can. But Disney actually has like restaurants inside the park. Universal doesn't really have restaurants inside the park. It's all like, like I said, like a uh, pretzel, popcorn. Like there's no like actual food really at Universal, which sucks. Disney has an upper edge on that for sure. But that's pretty much my whole like review of the two parks. Overall, I like Universal more because yeah, I like the characters more. Uh, like Universal, I, I, I kind of, honestly, I kind of want to get into popcorn buckets, but I know it's stupid. Because I already have this whole collection of just stupid stuff. Like, this is all dumb, right? Everybody knows that. Um, and then getting, like, a collection of popcorn buckets would be dumb, too. But while I was at Universal, I saw a Chucky popcorn bucket. Everybody knows I love horror. Like, I, I love the horror characters. I think they're so cute. Like, Michael Myers and, and Freddy Krueger and Leatherface and, uh, and Chucky. I think Chucky's adorable. Like, everybody knows I love the horror characters, right? So I saw that, and I was like, man, I really want it. I mean, I got this dumb thing. This is a stupid drink. I'm not going to do anything with this, right? But, uh, but yeah, I like the characters more, you know? I mean, at Universal, they've got Shrek. They've got, um, like, uh, what else do they have? They have SpongeBob. They have, like, all the DreamWorks stuff. Uh, I'm just trying to think of a bunch of... They have Despicable Me, Transformers, Harry Potter. Yeah, like, Chucky and... and um, and they had The Quiet Place, they have Insidious, the guy had Ghostbusters, they just have a lot of stuff. Disney, you know, everybody knows all the Disney stuff. Disney has a bunch of cute stuff too, that's my entire, uh, that's animation. Wait. That's my entire Disney shelf. Although some of those characters aren't Disney because I actually moved this entire thing around to fit some Funko Pops in there. So this is supposed to be Disney, but some of these are like, like the Peanuts characters, that's supposed to be in my animation shelf. It's all messed up. I have way too many of these. I, we need to do something about that. And yeah, I just like the roller coasters. I like the presentation probably a bit more at Universal. I just like walking into the park and immediately you see the massive roller coaster on your left. That's another thing, right? Like Disney doesn't have any massive roller coasters. Uh, Universal has three so far. I see a huge one they're building in their, their other park. But the three big ones they have so far are the Rip Ride, Hollywood Rip Ride, Hulk and the Velocicoaster. I will play some of the Velocicoaster footage now as well because that roller coaster is 
honestly the most fun I have ever had on a roller coaster. Um, I decided to live life on the edge a little bit, and thankfully I didn't die because of this. But during that entire ride, and I only rode this roller coaster once, I decided to keep my hands in the air the entire time. And that was probably like really stupid because the roller coaster goes upside down and you're literally lifted off your entire seat when you're going upside down, right? Because they have this little like bar on your stomach that's keeping you. So I'm literally not even in the chair. Like I, the bar is the only thing that's keeping me up when we're upside down and my hands are in the air. So it was wild. That was a crazy roller coaster. Most fun I've ever had. Thank God I ate plenty that day. Cause if I don't eat and I get on a roller coaster, I get a little sick afterwards. So I felt great after getting on that roller coaster. It was a lot of fun. But I want to go over my favorite parts of every park now, like all the Disney ones and then both Universal ones. So starting off with Disney, we'll start off with Disney and all their parks. My favorite part about Animal Kingdom is the Yeti ride. Yeti ride is really fun. Uh, I'm honestly not a fan of roller coasters that go in like pitch black. Uh, if you don't remember, a little while ago, a guy at Disney actually got his like fingers, or I think his whole hand, completely chopped off at this roller coaster that I've rode on in the past. And anybody who's rode on that roller coaster would let you know that that was just bound to happen because the stuff was so close to you, I thought my head was going to come off. Like it was, I don't know why anybody would do this when stuff is that close where you feel like it's going to hit your head, why you would then do this. So, I mean, that's just honestly natural selection at that point. But yeah, I mean, that, that guy is crazy. So yeah, I hate when rides go in like complete pitch darkness because I have no idea where anything is. So when I'm in a ride like the Yeti and it's completely black, I just do this because I just get worried that I'm going to like get killed. I, I don't want to get killed during a ride. So I prefer when rides don't do that, but that ride did. The other thing I like about Animal Kingdom is they have like a safari ride. So you ride through like a safari and you see all the animals. It's, it's really cute. My favorite part about Hollywood Studios is the Tower of Terror ride and Rock and Roller Coaster. Those are right next to each other at like the back end of the park. The Fantasmic, I think is what it's called. That show is pretty cool too. It's pretty fun. My favorite part about Epcot is the around the world food. They have a, like a bunch of different countries around the world with actually native speakers from that country, which is super cool. Uh, so they've got like Germany and Japan and China and uh, Canada and... Uh, Mongolia. Yeah, I think they have a few others. I just can't remember them. And then my favorite thing at Magic Kingdom is this brand new ride for Tron. That is a really good ride. Um, honestly, before they made that ride, I wasn't a huge fan of Magic Kingdom. So I did make my own, my own memory of Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is actually where I proposed to my girlfriend, so my now fiance. And uh, I, I did it right in front of Cinderella's castle. So, which I thought would be cute. I'm just scrolling on my computer to make it not so bright. Um, I thought it'd be cute because like when we have kids, eventually we'll go back to Disney. We'll go to Magic Kingdom and be like, oh, this is where, you know, we, we got engaged. This is where I proposed to your mom. I just thought it'd be cute. So yeah, that's, uh, that's where it happened. So Magic Kingdom now holds a very uh, dear spot in my heart. And then the two Universal Parks, Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. We'll start at Universal Studios. My favorite part about that is the Hollywood Rip Ride. Super fun ride. And then at Islands of Adventure, my favorite part about that is Hulk and Velocicoaster. And they also have a really cool Harry Potter world over there. I wish I could ride the Hagrid ride. That ride does not have a fast pass, which makes no sense why they're building new rides at Universal, but they're not letting you use a fast pass for it. That just blows my mind. Like it makes absolutely no sense. But yeah, that's that's my favorite part about uh, about Islands of Adventure. And uh, and yeah, that's my favorite part about every park, Disney and Universal. Um, if I had to change it, I probably would have continued the, the what we did. So we did basically three days at Disney. So we did everything except for Animal Kingdom this time, which was unfortunate, you know, but it is what it is. I probably would have done Disney for a whole week um, because there's a lot more that I wanted to do even at each specific park. Like I didn't get to do everything I wanted to do at, at, at every park, right? And then at Universal, I think three days is probably enough. Universal's a pretty small park. Well, it was basically like 
like one day. It was one full day, and then we went from Disney to Universal in one day, so that was like a half day, and then we left on the last day from Universal. It was basically like one day and two half days. I think that's perfect. Universal is a pretty short park. I literally did everything you could do at Universal, so... I mean, there's nothing really to change about that, but I would have spent a week at Disney for sure. But yeah, that's everything. That's the difference between Disney and Universal. Overall, let's do a little epic recap here. Universal is built more towards like grown-ups, uh, people who love roller coasters. Um, yeah, basically. And then Disney is built for kids, built for people who aren't a fan of crazy rides and they just like little cute rides and fun stuff and shopping. And uh yeah, I mean that's the main difference between them. So, yeah. All right, appreciate y'all. I'll uh, I'll talk to y'all later.